and suddenly I was having a hard time just functioning. Part of the job I love is going out on site and seeing things be built and to come together. I found myself just kind of blah, I'm like, Man, what am I doing? I wasn't, wasn't finding much enjoyment. So I'm Bryce and Clyde. I have been employed full time for just over 20 years. Um, I'm area manager over mining and industrial area. Taylor was our firstborn. He just blew us away with his memory, his ability to speak. He was also on the spectrum, um, diagnosed with autism, but had that brilliant memory and used to be able to just stand up and just captivate people in the way he talked. In high school, he got into cross country and really enjoyed that. He also excelled on the speech and debate team. It was a Friday night and my wife and I were enjoying an in-home date night. When we heard a loud noise. We start searching, trying to figure out what's going on. And that's when I found him. And I knew there was nothing I could do. I've got four other kids, a wonderful wife. And we've all dealt with it and felt it differently. That's something we need to remember as we talk to and deal with people who are dealing with losses, is we all grieve and we all deal with things differently at different times, at different places. The executive team here at WW Clyde were incredible. You know, if I needed time off, it was fine. If I needed to come, could work a little, that was fine. If I needed a break, it was fine. But it was hard. Times that it was completely overwhelming. There's been several people who are just great and understanding and, and there for you. The ones that hurt the most were when people just ignored it, ignored you, didn't know what to say, so didn't say anything. If somebody's hurting, just acknowledge that. And I hope by talking here today, which is not an easy thing, that you'll reach out and find those type of people. If you need to talk to me, talk to me. In no way is this world better without you in it. You're not alone. There are people who love and care for you. Probably more than you'll ever realize. If you feel like you need help, get it. Don't suffer in silence.